Hello guys and welcome in this new recording. Today we will be talking about the source record plugin for the OBS Studio because uh, yeah, basically I wanted to give this a try and it took me the whole day in fact to figure out um, how you can use this properly and uh, so I thought maybe I should uh, try to provide some notes on that to, to see if this could help someone else. Okay, um, let's get started. The first thing you probably want to do then is to have a look at this page. So you have the, the page um, URL here at the top. And uh, this is the main page that you have for this uh, Sur Record plugin. If you are on this uh, recording, you probably already know what this uh, plugin is going to do. It's going to allow you to record multiple sources uh, at the same time while you are recording your um, OBS um, stream or even your complete uh, scene uh, to the disk. The, um, the reason why you would like to do that, I guess, is for instance, if you want to do post editing, then for instance, in my case, what I'm doing is I'm recording a screen, which is a screen that you have here, plus also my um, camera, which I'm using as a webcam here. And I want them to be able to use the camera stream to place my face wherever I want on the video or to toggle this on and off dynamically with, um, well, showing me sometimes and showing the screen at other times. And even applying effect like uh, showing me a circle instead of the standard square rectangular area, something like that. So all these are operations that you would do in a post-processing stage, I guess, so in, with a video editor. And so that's why you would not want to record a single stream directly out of um, OBS. So you want to separate the streams. But yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting plugin, but it's not that easy to get this uh, working fine. As you can see here, the last reviews, you have a few comments that are, well, not providing a very high note. And okay, I can confirm that I have myself been through uh, quite a lot of struggle to get this uh, working. So what uh, you need to do then is to get the OBS Studio um, install on, on your computer first, of course, and then get this plugin. But uh, let's try to, to get short directly to the correct way to do it because you have some limitations. Uh, the latest version you have here, for instance, is compatible only with OBS 29. I am not quite sure. I mean, I was not quite sure it if it was super supposed to be 29 and version above or uh, like 30 because you yeah, have version 30 now already available or if it was just 29. But uh, I've tried with version 30 and I got a lot of issues there. It was not working, crashing and all. Again, it's not so clear. Maybe it's working, but because uh, there are other elements that I'm, I will cover later that could explain those uh, crashes. But still, what I have done then is uh, I went on the GitHub repository. So you have the link here, which is going to link you to this repository. And then if you go on the issues page, I have noticed this one. So source record not working in OBS higher than uh, 29.02. And um, yeah, at that point I decided, okay, maybe I should try to focus on that specific version instead of trying a, a newer one. And that it, that's what I would suggest you to do if you're well, looking at this recording and this is still the latest version available at least. You then want to go on the GitHub repository for the OBS project itself and on the page two for the release. Um, in case you don't know to go on this page for the you do. Uh, you would go, you, once you reach this page here, you go on the releases here maybe. And you could do final release, I guess if you do 
Uh, well, not quite. Not yet, probably a page, uh, but we're going to find out. So, 29.0 point. Okay, here we have it. Once you reach this one, you go on the asset, and then you have this uh, version, at least for Windows, this is the one you would use. Uh, then you could use another another file if you if you're on Mac or on Linux, I guess. What is this for Linux? This those one, yeah, Debian files. Okay, so I have installed this version of uh, the OBS Studio, and then to install the plugin itself. Okay, so that's the installation folder where I have extracted the OBS Studio, and then for the plugin you will get this zip file. Uh, the zip file you can download from, uh, I guess if you just click this one, it's going to download it. Oh, not yet. You, you have to take it from here, for instance. Once you have the zip file here, you can unzip this one. And in there, you have those two folders, data and OBS plugins. In fact, all you need to do is to take those two folders and just merge the content that you have in there in your OBS Studio installation folder. So if I do it myself, it's going to tell me that I'm going to replace some files, but uh, the first time you would do that, normally you would not have those files already. So you're not going to replace anything. You're just going to merge additional content um, in those folders. All right, and after that, you need to go into the OBS Studio itself. So this is another copy running in parallel with the uh, the main one which is doing the recording for now so you, what you need to do then is to set up your scene as usual so for instance uh, with uh, one screen capture and a camera capture and uh, what you are going to do next is uh, you need to select the source that you want to also record into an additional file and you just right click on that and you select filters then in the effect filters, you're going to add a source record um, entry. So you just go there and you should find source record. And when you have that, that's where we have an interesting element to really take into consideration. The record mode here is important. So, uh, if you set that to known, for instance, the default value will be known. And if it's set to known, it means it's never going to record anything to the destination file. Uh, basically, I don't think you, you would ever want to do that. Then you can you know, set that to recording, for instance, or streaming, or streaming or recording, or also always. At first, I'm not quite sure why I was thinking, okay, I just set that to always, it's going to record whenever I'm making a new video and it's going to create a new file. Except that in fact, always here really means always, even when you're not recording anything. So you just need to start OBS and it's going to start recording this, uh, this source. And if you set that to always, I don't know for other people, but I've seen that in the comments at least. And for myself, if I try to close OBS after that, it's going to crash. I mean, it's freezing and it's not responding anymore because it, it keeps recording the source and it, it's not stopping, in fact. So I would highly suggest to avoid setting that to always. But if you set that to recording then, uh, that seems to work as uh, I was expected it to, to work. Then you need to set, of course, the path where you want to store your video, then a name for your video, and the registration format. The interesting thing here concerning this recording format is when I was using um, higher version, so OBS version 30, uh, this field was empty by default. But then also I was not really sure I was setting this record mode properly, so maybe this was it. But when I was trying to test the plugin, I could not get my file to be registered. So 
Not sure which one is it, if it's the version of the OBS or if it's the record mode or the rec format that was not set because of incompatibility or something. So be very careful about that and try to stick to version 2902 if you if you can, at least to start with, and then you can uh, uh, change one element at a time. Anyway, uh, I'm keeping that then to the default value, MKV. Then stream, I, I don't really care. I'm not going to do the streaming here. And then for the encoder part, I've seen that you had to avoid the NV encoder. But I mean, maybe this was the new encoder thing or something like that. So maybe it's this one, the hardware um, NV encoder, but NVIDIA NV encoder, H264 um, seems to be working fine for me. So I'm just using this one now. Also the default value you would get here is, I mean, in my, in my case, it was 50 um, kilobits per second. So not that much. You probably want to increase that significantly. So I'll put uh, 3000 myself. And uh, oops. And apart from that, I don't think I've changed anything. Oh no, I've changed that also. I'm not sure if it, Make sense. Maybe you can still do that. The value I had I thought was two passes quarter resolution. I have changed that to single pass because uh, I'm wondering how it's going to work with two passes because if you're doing a recording, then it's going to do only one the first pass and then it's going to do another pass again. So not really efficient. I think, I'm not sure, maybe the, it doesn't work like that, but I'm using single pass anyway, and that should be good enough for my case at least. And that's it, basically. Once you have that, uh, you can start recording your, your video here. And what this is going to do is something like this. In my case, I'm currently recording this file, and there is another file that, that is recorded at the same time, which is called, I called webcam, blah, blah, blah. And this is due to the name that I have um, choose to, to use uh, here in the configuration uh, here, webcam underscore something. And uh, yep, this is it. So you need to be careful about the configuration that you use for the source record. But uh, if you can do this properly, then it's working not too bad, actually. Only other thing I, I think I need to mention is I think when you stop the recording then in the OBS, you need to not rush it too, too much and not try to close OBS right, uh, right after. I mean, it may still crash in that case. So uh, I've noticed that if I wait a little bit, it doesn't seem to crash anymore. Not so clear, but yeah, it's not so critical anyway, because uh, the recording of the file seems to be working fine anyway. It's just that uh, you get a final crash. So yeah, I hope this is going to help someone to spend a bit less time than I did setting this up. And uh, yeah, now let's try to use those two files to uh, produce a final video with them. See you another time. Bye-bye.